Good afternoon everybody, Evie here. Just going to show you the project I'm going to do this afternoon. I'm quite excited. I've got a, um, a Lazy Susan made of, I think, bamboo wood. Um, purchased just from a local place here in Australia, Target. Um, I've chosen the light colour wood for a reason, you'll see in a moment. And I've also got three canisters with the light coloured wood to match hopefully um not that you'll see the wood when i've finished only the edges of this lazy susan i'm going to be using uh today um my fluoro translucent paste that i've received from um from susanna from lores uh, i'm excited to do this and i'm inspired look at that one i'm inspired by susanna Thanks from Lores always and um, she's inspired me I've been watching her do um, coasters and rounds with these beautiful new um, creations she's made all these fluoro ones um, you can actually I believe buy the whole lot of I think six or nine um, in a group um, I've only purchased a few at the moment because I've wanted lots of other stuff as well um, also, I've got, in case I've got a little bit of um, resin left, I bought a little teddy bear frame to make a necklace for someone special in my life. And um, I've got the tape. I don't know if you've had a go at doing this. You you place the tape. Where am I? Oh, oh yes. This, this tape uh, underneath... And then place the the piece of jewelry frame on top so it seals it on the back so i'll be doing that as well so um i have got another beautiful board here but it's a bit dark as a background so i'll just be using this lighter one so i'll just mix up my resin get organized and we'll be back okay well i've got my resin mixed up here one part B to two parts A. And the resin I'm using today is um, Apparency Fast Curing. It's ultra clear. It's very strong and it's got a UV protectant on. Because I was thinking making uh, lids for coasters, sometimes will, they'll be probably in the kitchen of someone's house and the sun may be shining in the window and um, I don't want it to change the colour of the resin. So what I'm going to do now, I've got my colours ready here. As you can, stupid me, I forgot to order Susanna. I forgot to order the yellow and the green. So I'll have to do that next time. So I'm just going to use a mica powder in sunflower as well. I hope that they'll work well together. So I'm just pouring a bit of um, resin in each cup here where I'll make each colour. I'm also going to be using some Angel White, which is a paste from Lores, um, so uh, to make the, um, well, to do what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sort of lost for words. I, I lose my words sometimes. I'm sure you've already noticed that, and I do apologise, but I, I can't do anything to stop it. So thank you for your patience with me always. Um, so I'm what I'm doing, you don't need very much. So this is the fluoro orange. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So I'm just giving it a stir. As this is what's always recommended is give it a stir and scrape it all off. And you, you need very little. Okay, so that's going to be my orange. I'll pop that one away. And then we've got fluoro blue. Look at this one. I hope, you, I hope I'm holding it in the right spot here. And once again, the same thing. Just require a small amount. Scrape it sort of off and that's that one. Move that out the way. Then I've got the fluoro, fluoro purple. Give it a good stir. Because everything settles. It, oops, see, I've just broken my stick. Never mind. Stirs in transit. Um, but they come very well packed and sealed. 
Right, so I'll just scrape that off and then I'll just add that little one in there. Hopefully it doesn't sink too much and I'll lose my stick. And then I've got another one here. Where's my... And this one is the fluoro pink. Check this one out. Look at that. Little delicious number. <laughs> I love it. I think I'm going to be using this one. I used to have my hair this colour when I used to do hair shows. <laughs> so I just love that colour. Right, so, and the last one I'm going to, oh no, I've got to do the sunflower. That's right. Oh, I've got to make some more. So um, I'll just get another stick and um, put some sunflower mica powder in there. The only thing is I hope it doesn't make everything else move. We'll see what happens. Okay, so this is the sunflower myco powder. Make sure you get all the flakes. You must never put any more than 10% myco, myco powder or paste into um, the amount of resin that you have. But this is beautiful. It's quite metallic, so I'm hoping that it will work well. The pink. Oh, lovely. I've just got to scrape that off there so that it can get into <laughs> my little, um, <laughs> hang on, <laughs> what can I do there? I shouldn't have popped that one in, should I? Oh, hang on. I'll just stir it around in there with it and then pull the stick out afterwards because it's got the, it's got the fluoro purple on there, on that particular stick that I broke. Need a little bit more of the purple actually. I'll just pop a little bit more in. Right now, what have we got? Oh, yes, the orange. Look how bright that is. I'm very excited about trying these um, techniques that Susanna has got on her um, YouTube channel. Her name is Susanna Danks. She's, oh, I'm making the camera wobble. Sorry, I moved my stomach off the table. Um, Lorez Expressions. So I will link it below so you can see what marvellous things she's done and that who's inspired me. Uh, I'm sure mine won't be nearly as good as Susanna's, but I'm trying and I enjoy it. Very experienced, ta talented lady. I love her. She's real. in these ones up I'll give them another stir in a minute um, I also want to do the angel white uh, so it's another cup here so my angel white and the same thing won't need much of the angel white paste. Give it a stir. Scrape it off and pop it in. There we are. So there's all my colours that I'm using today. So I'll um, come back in just a moment. I'm going to attempt my little teddy bear first. I hope this you can see this and it's nice and clear. Um... And I'm going to, because I'm in using a little tiny bits of the colour resin, I'm going to be using, um, I don't know if you can see these under my hand, like a little dropper to see if that helps. Um, I'm just wondering if I need to lift that up so you can see it better. Let me see, what have I got? Another dish. I'm going to bring it up higher to the camera. Hopefully that's clearer for you. Right. So 
to fit in tiny little amounts. I'm not sure how I'm going to go, but we'll try. So I'm going to use little bits of the yellow. Just putting those in his ears. You just squeeze them and then it fills up the tube, as you can see, you just let it fill up. And then I'm going to put a little bit of, oh, what will I put? I might put yellow in his muzzle. A bit more in his ears. Burst that bubble. I think that might do for the yellow. Right. Just sucking up some of the orange now. As you can see how it works. These um, new um, colours actually um, are absolutely bright as under the black light too so if you want something really um, out there and psychedelic this is what you get these fluoro colors you can see how that's filling up the orange one now let's see what we can do okay so i'm going to do a little bit of orange at the top of his head got a few bubbles there little bit of pink oh I'm a bit shaky trying to get it so in a small space <laughs> try on his body now I'm going to try and do a bit of the same again I'm going to do the yellow the orange I think I was supposed to lay white in between to stop them running into each other <laughs> I'll try that later oh see the pink Put a bit of pink in the top part of his legs, I think. And then we've got the purple. Something else I didn't do. I didn't check to see if this was level. Silly me. Anyway, never mind. It is what it is. It will be fine. I may have to do two coats of this yet. I'm not sure. Never worked with these before. So this is such fun. Has any of you ever worked with these neon, neon colours before? If you have, put them in the... Tag me. Comment. Please comment. Love to hear what you've made and what what you recommend now this is the blue so this is going to be his feet and if i can just get it in that oh no i've not managed to um, these little charm frames too also come from susanna um, she has others to choose from I wish I'd bought a few, actually. I really do. Just filling it up a little bit more. I 
know how your weather's going where you live in the world, but um, here down in Tasmania in Australia, it's um, chucking it with rain. Usually by this time of year, we have the most beautiful sunshine. So I don't know what's quite going on with the weather around the world. What do you think? It's going insane everywhere, isn't it? There, now I've overfilled his ears. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let me just see if I can't. It's got a little bit of pink's gone in his muzzle. I'll fill it up more. There we are. So that's what we've done. So we're going to see how that goes. Just a bit more purple. I've actually just got it sitting on a, a coast or two. I just thought that would be easier. Okay, I think my teddy bear's filled. So we'll let that cure and we'll, we'll put that aside now. Right, now we're coming back. We're going to do the, the jars. So all I've done is I, I, I thought I had some Glad wrap, you know, some plastic wrap to put over the, but I've run out. So I've just had to put a, a, a plastic bag upside down on them. So I'm hoping I don't spill it. So we've got the two smaller ones and we've got the bigger one. Let me just see if I've got them in the frame for you. Okay. Now this is the white, hopefully that's thickening up a bit. I'm going to pour this in an inverted plastic bag here. I'll just let that sit for a bit and then I'll um, nip the tip off and use it like a little icing bag because I also don't have any icing bags. So, right, now we're ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. So we're going to try and do the same again. I'll give this a little stir up beforehand. I should have checked around the edges, make sure that's stuck. I'm going to be taking this off afterwards and letting it fall, roll over the edge, but not yet. Okay, so what I'm doing first is laying down my sunflower. Uh, the reason I chose this colour wood is because it's a light colour. Um, Susanna was, as you'll see in her video when you watch it, you, she was saying how some people like to lay it on top of black, but she prefers not to, even though she did try it. I might not need the, um, the dropper. Oh no, that's going good. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. I am. I'm having a great day today. Uh, life's been a bit tough for me lately, but um, I've turned a corner and things are great. People worse off. I just get very sad with everything that's going on in the world. And, um, you know, when my friends and family are sick. and But I'm feeling great today. So um, I never watch the news. So when I do, I hate it. And unfortunately, I was at the dentist yesterday and uh, the dentist, you know, how they have the cameras above you. Well, of course, what was on was the news. Oh, gosh, it was so depressing. So very depressing. Anyway, so that's over now anyway. Right, that's the yellow.
Right, the orange. Just making sure that they're stuck. I don't know whether... Oh, hang on. I think I'm supposed to put the white in between. Let me just give this a go. And I've never done this either with a plastic bag like this. So we'll just see how this works. Just give it a little squeeze. I might not have mixed up enough. And just nip off the tip. If you've got scissors that can't, is always a bonus. Hang on, get another pair of scissors. <laughs> Yes, these were my kitchen scissors. There. Okay, it's oozing out now. All right, so hopefully I can do this. I'm just going to put a little line between there. Just rest that up that way. It's very runny. I think I maybe should have let that thicken up a bit more. Never mind. We'll keep going. And where the orange. Actually, I could probably pour with this bin bigger than the little let's see just uh, see if I can be be careful all right bit of the pink oh white <laughs> I'm going, to say, I'm going to forget it, aren't I? White. Yes, it's very, very runny. I really should have just waited till it thickened up. Oopsie. Not good. Not good. Hang on, I'll just put a bit more orange there. See if I can push it back. Oh, that's working. Hmm, might do that here too. Right, next one. The pink. Maybe I should have stuck to the droppers. <laughs> oh well, we'll see what happens. I was to do the white first. I'll try that. Yeah, I'll try that. Let's see. All right, so the next one is the purple. And then the blue. Oopsie. Let's get the blue on there quickly, eh? Oops. Need a bit more blue down the bottom of the big one. Oh, 
might just start at the top again and I might just do it with the dropper this time <laughs> just to make it a bit deeper. Sort of lost the yellow on this one, haven't I? You know, you, of course, if this is taking too long for you, you can always fast forward at any time. Something's leaking out here. I'm going to tilt that one up a bit more. Let's get some sticks. Yeah, always make sure your <laughs> bench is level first, which I didn't do. Can you see this one? Yeah. I'm going to just pop that under there and hopefully let it roll down a bit. Okay, well, now I need to put a bit more. I'll just get rid of some bubbles. Hang on. Sorry, this one just keeps coming at, going out. That's why I've got to... Oh, goodness. some of the bubbles anyway all right I believe now I have to put more white on oh it's pouring everywhere I haven't got that much left actually Well, we never know what's going to happen here, do we? Hey, <laughs> look at that. That could be quite nice. I wonder if I've got any left in that. All right, I'm going to let that sit for a little while now and we'll be back. I'll just wipe my finger before I turn it off. I don't think I've got enough to do that Lazy Susan of resin made up at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I poured, I had black left over the other day, so I've got some black base in two here and I've just pressed in an embellishment into the top. 
So I'm just going to um, pour the neon colours over this and um, see what happens. I'll just alter the camera slightly and so you can see because I'm going to have to do it from the back. So forgive me if my arm's in the way. Right. First of all, I'm going to do the yellow, which I'm going to do at the top. I'm going to spoon it on this time. We'll see how that goes. Actually, I'm not, no, will I? Oh, no, no, I'll just do around the top. Bring it down halfway maybe so it's a bit like a rainbow, a bit curved. Okay. Oopsie. The orange. Sort of tends to look a bit brown that orange against the black, doesn't it? But when there's a blue light on, it really will glow. And the pink, I might just wrap that around there. purple and then the blue I don't know if there's going to be much room for the blue but we'll see See, I dribbled it over. It's a pain, isn't it? Actually, I'm gonna. I like how that pink has gone over the top of that. So I'm just going to pour a bit more pink over the top of the embellishment there. I think that looks really lovely. Do the same here. This is just a trial. This is just plain. We've no idea what's going to happen. So. Um, just enjoy the plane. Not everything turns out to be a perfection, but it's nice to play. Okay. All right. So I'll just check there's no bubbles. Oh, there is bubbles. Look, I don't know if you can see those. I'll just get rid of some of those bubbles. Sorry. 
Okay. Just make sure there's no bubbles up here. Yeah, this one keeps going out on me. I don't know why it does that. I don't know if my finger's not strong enough to hold it down. Okay. Well, I think we'll leave it at that for a while. Coming back to the lids here, because I'm going to use a saute stick and just swirl it. I just need to lift this jar up a little bit further. I think it's all running too much. Let's turn it round and move it. Yeah, it's all running off the off the jar itself. Definitely don't have, oh here, that's what's happened. The lid's moved and it's not pushed in there properly. I'll just push that back. Okay. So all I'm gonna do is just go around And we will leave it at that. Oh, I wonder if I could just do this, bring this around a bit more. Okay, we'll leave it at that and see what happens. Be back soon. Okay, here we are after about an hour. What's happening to these? That's the large one. I did put on a tiny bit more white on this one. But this one here is actually sort of blooming, which looks really pretty. Yeah, this one. No, where am I? Sorry, I can't find where I am. That's one. And that's the other one. I like the look of this one. I don't know if I've put too much resin in or not. And the other one I had the lid on skew with. So it's pouring all over the place. But don't know what will happen there either posters that I poured with the leftover resins or yeah. um, the last scraps I've poured into um, a pyramid and a bowl and some beads for a bracelet. I just overfilled it slightly, I'll wipe that off in a moment. It's time for me to pour the side tape off. Not sure how this is going to go. I think it's going to slop everywhere because um, I haven't got any glad wrap to cover the, the sides of the jar. So we'll see. I can't do it at the same time as hold the camera, I don't think. So let's have a go. We'll try. I'll try. No, I'll have to put the camera down. So far that's okay, that's looking beautiful, fingers crossed. Taking them off the jars and I've just got them on top of something smaller. But they look absolutely beautiful, look at those. And there's the other one, look at them. I'm just hoping they don't stick on the rubber too much. I've tried to go, oh there's a bit more, I've got to wipe off there. I'll be back up soon again to the art cottage just to see if I can't it's the other one. Oh, I love the colours. Look at those colours, they're absolutely magnificent. Here's the finished results out in the garden at the moment. These are the ones that I did on the black. So I've got an air bubble there. I'll sure sand down and um, do a, a top coat on. 
Here's the little teddy bear, which is so cute. And here's my, um, I've just got to take the edge off the back of those. I like the one with the two different colours in. It's my first attempt with the beads. And here is the bowl. These are with all the leftover bits. And then there's the diamond. And then there's the magnificent tops on the canisters. These, these colours are absolutely exquisite. I can't wait to use them again. Look at that. How beautiful. How absolutely stunning are they. That's the one that went a bit whoopsie. As you can see, there's more on the back than there is on the front. But I'll show you my disasters as well. So there we are. What do you think of those? Oh, these colours, you're just going to have to get some. I love them. I can't wait to make more stuff. And I'm thrilled with my little teddy bear. Look at that, a rainbow teddy bear. Hope you've enjoyed my very long video. I'm sorry about that, but I have had fun. If you've enjoyed any of it, please tick the like. Maybe leave me a comment with suggestions. Thank you.